Hello everyone, welcome to Life Around Science. Uh, so this video is in continuation with the uh, previous video where we saw interesting flashes of light in the sky. So here we will analyze uh, different uh, types of uh, lightning and different uh, lightning activities that occur in the clouds or in the atmosphere and see which out of that which uh, type was the one that we saw in the previous video. So I'll just go through different types quickly for the brevity of the video and not go much into details. If you have any specific questions, you can comment below. So let's start. So, uh, first type of lightning is cloud to ground. So basically what you what we have is say we have a cloud and this is the ground so what usually happens is uh, the neutral cloud uh, the charges inside the neutral cloud uh, get separated with negative charges at the bottom and positive above so this creates electric field and if it creates strong enough electric field a dielectric breakdown of the atmosphere occurs and charges flow to the ground and we see this spark in the form of fractal structure. So this is cloud to ground. Second type is cloud to air. It can happen that some pockets of air get created which uh, accumulate certain uh, type of charge and this the discharge just occurs from this cloud to that part of air. So it starts from a cloud and ends up in some area of the sky uh, or the atmosphere. This is called cloud to air lightning. Third is cloud to cloud. So names are very suggestive of what it does. So we have another cloud which, which can have charges of its own and we can have discharge among the clouds. So from one cloud to another. So this is and we will see this uh, fr fractal structure sta uh, starting from one cloud and ending at another cloud. So this is a cloud to cloud. Fourth is intra cloud. Uh, in intra cloud lightning, we have a cloud and the ground. Say so we can have charges getting separated within. We have charges separated within the cloud itself and the discharge can happen within the cloud itself. So there is this fractal structure but it's within the cloud. So what we see, we will see uh, is just light because this structure gets blocked by the cloud itself. So we just see light coming from the cloud. So this is called the intra cloud lightning. Next one is a pretty interesting one. It is called bolt from the blue. This happens when uh, say uh, the thunderstorm clouds have passed uh, from above you and they are far away and it could be suppose you are here and this can be as far as tens of kilometers. So you, you have nothing above you, no clouds, it's a uh, clearly blue sky. But since because of the negative charge uh, on the bottom of the cloud, this positive charge gets induced in the earth below the cloud and a relatively negative charge can come uh, in the areas up far away from it. So these positive charge which are there in the upper part of the cloud can find their way, go out and then arc, arc down and discharge over here. So you can have a perfectly fine climate. Uh, no rain and anything you have blue sky and suddenly a bolt comes out of nowhere and strikes somewhere around you so this is bolt from the blue oh my God. another interesting phenomena that you come across when you look such type of, uh, of phenomena uh, are red sprites blue jets and L's. 
some of these lightning phenomena that we call blue jets and red sprites. And these are lightning that shoots up into space or up towards the outer edges of our atmosphere rather than down to the ground. We don't know very much about it. Uh, we don't know how often these uh, lightning phenomena occur or under what conditions or what effect they have in our atmosphere. Um, one evening I was sitting in Kupala and we were flying over India when I saw this gigantic thunderstorm. So here we have these red sprites. So this is red lightning that's shooting upwards out towards space uh, at the same time that there's traditional white lightning that we know. And as I looked further, I also saw this. So here we have one of these blue jets, so blue lightning again shooting up into space. And I actually managed to capture that on film. So in about four seconds right here, you'll see this blue lightning. There we go. According to the researchers, this is the first time they've ever seen this, this blue lightning shoot up like that. So they are very, very excited about it and have already started to, to analyze the data to try to get a better understanding. So now that we have uh, find, found out different types of lightnings, so let's see what would have happened in the previous video. So uh, it was, so the light was coming from a very localized space from one cloud itself. So it is clearly not cloud to ground or cloud to air or cloud to cloud because we would have seen some fractal structures emanating uh, from the cloud. Um, it was not bold from the view because there was no bolt. It cannot be blue jets and because they are blue and uh, else because also that they both occur in the upper atmosphere and we have not seen them from the ground yet. So we are left with intra cloud and red sprites. So most probably it would have been an intra cloud lightning. Uh, red sprites also occur uh, above the clouds. So but we cannot rule out the possibility that out of so many flashes one or two or few of them might have been red sprites because the red sprites have been observed from the ground. And maybe because of the clouds we couldn't see the structure but since it was a reddish in color we cannot rule out the possibility that it was red sprites. So now let's try to answer uh, the question of what was what were we seeing in the previous video those interesting flashes of light. So as we have two answers intra cloud lightning and red sprites which could have been above them. So uh, let's draw the ground. So we had an intra cloud lightning which was occurring inside so we could could not see the uh, spark or the, uh, uh, the fractal structure. So one interesting point was that there was no sound. So there is a thing called heat lightning, which is basically a misnomer. They are basically lightnings which occur far away from you, so far that you cannot hear them. So suppose we are here, uh, in the night sky you can, see, uh, since it is dark, you can see lightnings from as far as hundreds of kilometers away, but that distance is too large for you to hear the lightnings. So it, uh, greater or approximately 100 kilometers or it could also be more than in tens of kilometers. So it was an intra cloud lightning which was very far so you could not hear them but you could see the light coming from it. Um, another um, interesting characteristic there, that it was red in color. So why could that be for to answer that we need to understand light matter interaction and particularly the process of scattering. So we need to consider two types of scattering, me scattering and relay scattering. Me scattering uh, is basically, scattering is a process basically where uh, light is incident on some particles and they scatter the light in different directions. So me scattering is the process which uh, is done by particles uh, which have a size of the order of wavelength of light. And a property of me scattering is that it is not wavelength dependent. So if white light comes is incident on it, the observer would observe white light itself. Let's say we have scatterers in the clouds and in the atmosphere. Relay scattering on the other hand uh, are done by particles which are much smaller in size uh, than the wavelength and 
interesting property is that the scattering light intensity is proportional one by wavelength to the power four or frequency to the power four. So basically, higher frequency light is scattered more. So blue light is scattered more by such particles as compared to red light. So what must have been is that we uh, would have had uh, more relay scatterers, which are basically smoke or tiny dust particles uh, in the air. So the light, bluish white light, which is given out by this lightning, goes through these relay scatterers, which scatter off the blue part of it or violet part of it. And what reaches you is something which is red in color. Also, another point is that this being a heat lightning, the distance of this cloud was very much far away from us, which us the observers. So we have a larger slab of atmosphere between the uh, lightning and us. So that also means that there will be more scatterers through that this light has to go through and which means more scattering. So the red color was more pronounced, could have been more pronounced because of the distance also. So we got several interesting comments in the previous video explaining the unusual flashes of light. So after seeing all different types of lightnings in this video, we can conclude that the mysterious flashes of light which we reported in the previous video most likely are distant intracloud lightning with a lot of intervening fine dust or smoke particles, although we cannot rule out the possibility of red sprites.